Hey guys, I hope you like the second lesson that um, we are going to do. Uh, Dr. Meadows actually gave me this idea through an email and so I was like, well, I'm gonna run with this. I'm gonna have them do blind spots in their mirrors or their cars and we're gonna have all this stuff going on. And unfortunately, my husband is a carpenter. Well, it's not unfortunate that he's a carpenter, but uh, it is unfortunate that he can think through this stuff. And so I had him do all of the activities that I'm having you guys do. Um, because he's really good at spatial reasoning and even though I'm a geometry teacher and I should know how to do spatial reasoning sometimes you know never having done this before there's a disconnect and so he really helped me get these activities pretty straightforward I think and um, doable for you guys to do and so anyways we were out there in his big old truck trying to measure <laughs> the um, blind spots in his mirrors and like you just appeared and then he reappeared immediately and I was like did you even walk forward and he goes no I just leaned forward and, and so it was kind of becoming a little bit complicated with all the different tools and equipment we were using to try and measure the blind spots in the mirrors and then um, I watched a video about measuring the blind spots and it wasn't that it was overly complicated because you could take that video with you and just do it step by step by step but thinking of the time that you guys are putting into this it would have eaten up a lot of your time and so what i did instead with this lesson is kind of scaled it back you are going to be measuring the blind spots on your retinas and um, i really was not a believer until i did the activity myself and all of a sudden i couldn't see even though i'm holding up a paper in front of my eyes you know basically like this and oh my gosh, I honestly couldn't see what I'm supposed to be seeing. And so uh, it's kind of cool. Practice it. There is a slide for practicing. Practice it. Get comfortable with it. It's really weird. And I know my directions are kind of quirky on that one slide in the speaker notes. Um, but you really can't un not see it. And that was the best way I could describe it. <laughs> because it took me forever. And I don't know if it was my unbelief that this would not work. I don't know if that it was that that took me forever to get there. But for some odd reason, um, I worked on this and worked on this and my husband's over there like, it's disappeared, it's disappeared. And I'm over here going, it's not disappeared. So um, I'm gonna kind of demonstrate this for you in case you are a non-believer like me. I don't want this to be a frustration, a source of frustration for you. I want you to actually be able to do this because it's really cool. And, you know, taking this back to the classroom, it actually probably is better that we are not actually calculating the blind spots in the mirrors of your cars because you probably would not want your kids around your car. Who knows what could happen near Halloween time to your car if you took them around your car. So um, maybe you might want to um, partner up with the mechanics teacher at your school and he might have some insight as to how to measure the blind spots in your mirrors and maybe he has a simpler way of doing it um, but as for me and my wonderful wonderful husband who can think of all kinds of stuff and he really thinks outside the box we just couldn't bring it down time wise and simplicity wise to put it in this um, lesson so again scaled it back to your retina and um, just as a brief little overview of what you're going to be doing you they want to use different color pens. I did. And you'll see my example of my work in there and pens. And honestly, the pencil really worked. And I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. <laughs> College of Education. And it's upside down and backwards. And I apologize, but um, it's Tennessee Tech. And I just really like that pencil. It worked out perfect for this. Now it's just backwards and not upside down. Um, but, anyways, I used a pencil. But I used colored pens to mark my measurements because it was a lot easier to do that. Um, I also used a ruler because <laughs> all of my stuff is in my classroom. And as of right now, I'm kicked out of my classroom. I can kind of sneak in, but I'd rather not get fired over the summer. I really like my job. So I measured everything in inches and ended up having to convert to millimeters. But please convert to millimeters. Um, it's not hard to Google that. And um, I also did the conversion. Um, on my work so that you could see that if you needed to do that or you can you know do it a simpler way and measure in millimeters but unfortunately rulers don't have millimeters on them um so anyways i got out graph paper and you know what it actually worked out really great on graph paper but if you don't have graph paper it will work no matter what 
So in the directions, it says to put a plus sign on the far right side of your paper. Inside it, do a very big plus sign, but I am blind, and so you're probably gonna say this is huge. To me, it's kind of tiny. And so on the far right side of my paper, which looks left to you guys, so um, sorry about that, but anyways, it's on the right side of my paper. I did that, and then, um, like I said, I could not get this to happen for me, so um, I'm gonna stand up here. And you're supposed to place yourself against the wall. And, whoops, I forgot my pencil. And you'll, you might want to get a partner to help you with this because that's why I did involve my husband because I just could not, you know, do this. But, and I'm sorry, I got to cover up my face. But you need to put this out about 20 inches uh, away from you. It's a little shy of 20 inches, like 19.6 inches. Um, and again, it's 500 millimeters that you want this away from your face. So if you have millimeters, measure in that, it'll be a lot easier. And I did multiple measurements because I'm always afraid that I'm not being um, accurate and all precise in my measurements. And they actually were pretty darn close to each other. And then I took an average of my measurements and you'll see that on my work. Um, but anyways, I did this and um, I held my pencil like this and my husband held his pencil like this. So it really doesn't matter. But anyways, you are gonna close your right eye. <laughs> it looks so funny. Um, you're going to close your right eye and focus your left eye on that plus sign. And um, I don't know if I'm exactly, you know, 19.6 inches away, but, you know, I'm just demonstrating. So you're going to focus on that plus sign and you're going to move your pencil until the eraser disappears. And right there, that eraser just disappeared. I did not move far. As soon as I go to the left again, it appears. And so we marked it on this graph paper and we made two marks. And again, you'll see my work on the example of the work uh, I included on the slides. And again, I took three measurements. I did it in three different colors so that I knew, you know, which measurement was which. And it, it made it a whole lot easier to do. And on the website that um, I show you, there's so many cool little activities that you could do. Um, and if you have early finishers, sometimes having them do those extra activities might be fun. I also include an extension on the lesson plan um, that you could have your early finishers slash high achieving students um, or higher achieving students try to tackle. Um, it would be, you know, along the lines of geometry proofs, but it would be so worth the effort if they can figure that out and have that connection. <sighs> Maybe this was my favorite, even though it wasn't my idea and the other lesson was my idea, um, because I love the concept of the similar triangles that was in this, and I didn't actually get to use that. I had to use proportions because that's the math that you're going to be doing. Um, but if you could sneak in the proofs of the similar triangles within the context of this real, real world application, do it. Now, last part. I know you guys are going, <laughs> it's the blind spot of your retina. And we are talking about transportation. Well, <sighs> you know, Try to make that work with the kids. It's kind of like how I'm tying it with, in with you guys, you know, tell the kids maybe for safety or security reasons, you couldn't go out to the parking lot and do this with your car. Or maybe it's raining that day and you looked out and you're like, guys, we had to scale this back into, uh, into being in the classroom. Or maybe you can modify this with a mirror and you could do it with a mirror, um, like a little handheld mirror, which I don't have one of those. And so, um, you know, just different ways to modify this and make it work with your classroom. Definitely take the chance to do this. Um, this was a wonderful, wonderful lesson, I think, and I hope you have a blast doing it. Don't forget to do the survey. Um, please leave reflective comments. And again, you know, this lesson plan seems really awesome to me, but if there's a gap somewhere, you know, transitioning again from the classroom to an online stage, is really tricky in my brain. And so trying to see how every little piece works, hopefully this will um, work out for you guys. My email again is cwilson at yaidragons, with an S after dragons.com. And that's a Gmail address. And so use the survey or email me. I try to check every day. I would love to hear from you guys if you have questions or you know comments or how to make this better. You know, you can add links to these slides if you want to. Um, I would love for you guys to do that. So thank you so much for doing these two lessons. I hope you really, really enjoyed them. And again, navigation, if you are struggling with that through these slides, 
go back to the transformation lesson plan, and you will um, you'll see how to go through the slides. Anything underlined is a link. If you are stuck, click on the links. They're pretty cool, especially the neuroscience link. Thank you so much again, guys. Um, hope to see you uh, on our last day of class and be looking for feedback once you submit your um, finished activities. Thank you, guys. Bye.